This is Jason. Oh, hi there, Jason. This is Dominic again. Oh, hey, sorry. I was on the phone. I was on there a little bit longer than I than I had anticipated. <laughs> okay. Well, you know how it is. You're working, man. So, anyways. Okay. There I am. Um, I, and I'm at the peak. I mean to tell you, I'm at the prime of my life, right? There I am, okay? I'm walking down the street. I see a garbage can out in front of a shopping center, okay? Now someone, someone at some point, probably the night before, I don't know, it's one of those, Dominique, with the top on it, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's like a top and you just put, like, like you would see, like at McDonald's or something. It's got a top on it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. With an ashtray on top? You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Yep. And somebody at some point has has lit this trash can on fire, okay? I'm guessing it's probably kids or something, but the, the trash can is all melted on the top, right? And it's dripping down, uh -huh. all right? Okay. I mean, the trash can's still there. It was made out of stone. But somebody's burning something in it, and the top's melted, oh, really? okay? Oh. So... Mm -hmm. So, then what happens is after all the trash is burnt out of it, nobody went to do anything about it. What happened was, is it must have burned itself out. They filled it with trash again, right? The thing is overflowing with trash. Somebody lit it on fire the night before, and now it is overflowing with trash, all right? So, you know what I did, Dominique? What? I threw a lit cigarette into it. You know why? Because I say kick them when they're down. Kick them when they're down, Dominique. That's what you got to do. Kick them when they're down. Okay. You, you with me there? Huh? Yeah. That's right. Kick them when they're down. Say it, say it, say it, say it. Kick them when they're down. Okay. Say it. Say kick them when they're down. Come on, man. Say kick them when they're down. Kick them when they're down. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, you the man. You are the man. <laughs> Okay. That's what I'm talking Basically, about. Basically, I tried to log into your site, which is myspace backslash Tom. Am I correct? Myspace.com backslash Tom. Yeah, so, Tom. Bang. So basically, um, the problem with the uh, uh, what do you call this? The internet apps that I have is they've got all, all those um, what do you call this? Network networking sites, sites like Adult Friend Finder and uh, uh, PooNation.com. I'm sorry, that. Huh? What's that again? I was just giving some other examples of sites that I own. Okay. See, I own MySpace.com. Okay. Um, what type of business are you into right now? I'm a website designer. I just use a template. I just use a template. I put in a picture and then drama. Just that's all it is. I, I was gonna call it insert drama here. Com. I tell you what. You just you. I, I tell you what. I, I've been talking long enough. You just tell me what you're going to do for me, and I'll just sit here and listen. Okay, so basically, if, if that would be the case... I swear to God, within three seconds, I had over a thousand seagulls just flock... A bunch of flocking okay. seagulls. I feed them the entire box of saltines, right? And I mean, I got thousands of these things. Just swear. Okay. Can, can you believe that? Oh, well, probably they're not hungry by that time. They're birds. Do you know how much birds eat? Let's go to my other website, wikipedia.org. Look up birds. Just type in birds and then put in how much do they eat. The Wall Street Journal published a front page article entitled Crying Fowl, Feeding Wild Birds May Harm Them and Environment. Prior to the publication of this article, Canadian ornithologist Jason Rogers, I swear to God, wrote the extensive, the extensively, wrote extensively about the environmental problems associated with bird feeding in the journal. Guess what my name is? You're Jason. Jason Rogers. I wrote that. I invented MySpace.com. I don't need you to invent me something. I don't need to reinvent the MySpace.com. That's like reinventing the wheel. You remember that show that was on TV? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real life friends. I invented that. Donnie. You're not hearing what I'm telling you. All right, here's what we're going to do. Go to wikipedia.org. Uh-huh. Hold on, I'm going to go there, too. Wikipedia.org. 
where I type in MySpace. All right, here we go. You ready for this? Okay, uh, shoot. All right. Let's see how many members I have now. A hundred now as of August 9th, two thousand six, right? Right? That was back when I was only wiping my butt with hundred dollar bills. Okay, August 9th, two thousand six. A news story claiming a hundred and six million accounts. Alright? So therefore I have a hundred and six million page website. I'm sorry. That's all I wanted was an apology. Okay. I mean, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything, you know. I mean, breaking up is like, you know, one of the hardest things for people to do. So I'm just going to put it right at you like that, you know. I mean, I'm just going to let you go. We'll do, okay? We'll just keep, I'll, I'll just keep on talking, okay? And while I'm talking, at any moment, you just hang up on me, and then you'll just be gone. And, you know, I'll just, I'll just pretend like you're still there, and I'll just gradually ease into the fact that you're just not there. Okay, so just at any moment, you just go ahead and right. just hang up on it. You just hang up, and then separate ways. I'm just gonna keep talking nonstop, and you just hang up just any time that you want, and we'll just say that we're, we just parted as friends. Parted as friends. That's right. So that way we don't have to say goodbye.